Hey Sparks, what's up? And hello to those of you that are watching. My goal with this channel is to inspire, educate, and share information with you that will help you thrive in life and thrive in business. That sounds good to you? Subscribe! So let's get into our video today. I have lots of notes. <laughs> so I want to talk to you about the 10 things that you should have or consider having in place if you want to thrive in life and thrive as you grow, scale, and eventually sell your business. Number one is your personal credit. Y'all will come to me and you'll say, what do I need to do to grow my business? I need capital. Well, if you have personal credit, you're gonna be able to get business credit so you can grow your business. <laughs> That's how y'all come to me. Spark, what am I supposed to do? And I'm like, look, you gotta get your personal credit in order. You've seen me really dive deep into that in 2018 and I'll be talking about it as we grow because your personal credit leads to your business credit. You're going to have to be a personal guarantor more than likely with your business, okay? So you wanna get more product, you need access to capital. If you wanna get into the right associations to make strategic partnerships and relationships, you have to have capital. So your goal should be to have over a 700 credit score because that's kind of where the magic happens. 600 is okay. Um, I've seen good things happen with 650, but really over 700 and you're like good as gold. So number one, get that personal credit in order. Once you get your personal credit in order, then of course you need to get your business credit in order. Um, I do have a Capital One Spark business card. I have an Amex, Spark, um, Amex Platinum business card. I have, which I just flew to New York, uh, Manser and I on our Delta Sky Mouse for $22 for, for my personal credit card. So personal credit's important. With my Sky Mouse with my business Platinum, we sat in the Priority Lounge where if you like to drink, I don't, makes me sick, but it's unlimited alcohol. And I'm talking about real liquor, champagne. I did have some champagne, two glasses. <laughs> but I mean, there's priorities, right? There's there's um, perks to having great personal credit and business credit. The thing with the Spark Business Card for Capital One is it does go on your personal credit report, which I did not realize until years later. So what's happening is, even though I have a $15,000 credit limit on that card, it does affect the utilization on my personal credit, which I don't like. Amex Platinum does not report to your um, personal credit okay I do have a business loan at 40,000 that does not report to my personal credit okay so you those are things that you want to make sure that you're asking um, from a business credit perspective but number one personal credit number two get your business credit in order number three strategic partnerships and personal relationships so this is what I mean uh, I knew in 2018 that not necessarily that I was the smartest in my group but I was making more money than anyone else in my like tight tight circle um, you know prior year so in 2018 I'm like look I need a bigger circle with women um, and men but specifically women that are making some big money and growing and scaling their businesses and so I sought out those type of women that I was kind of sort of acquaintances with but I said I just went to them and said look I am working on building my personal relationships and I want to be your friend and I mean it was that simple they're like okay <laughs> so work on strategic partnerships so I'm members of associations um, national women national association of women-owned small businesses uh, women business enterprise national I think it's coalition I don't know but we bank um, I have a lot of certifications that we'll talk about uh, Atlanta Business League in Atlanta, but I am very, very strategic with the type of partnerships that I wanted to develop this year and personal relationships. You gotta get your shit in order. When I was married with my ex-husband, I just really, it just, the relationship was a mess on both ends, okay? One just him, one me. We were a mess as a couple. And, but you know, of course, in every relationship, there's some highs and lows. And when we were high, we were high. When we were low, it was so low, like majority, like 90% of the time. So there were times when I didn't go certain places. I wasn't friends with people. I didn't develop relationships because I was just dealing with so much at home. And I said, if I was an attorney, you know, if I was a family law attorney, I'd say I help men and women get out of miserable ass marriages because those of you that are in miserable marriages, it does seep over into your business relationships and other personal relationships. So. Get your personal relationships in order. There's some things that you need to do and also cut some people off. I don't talk to everyone um, in my family. I don't talk to everyone that wants to be friends with me. It's just is what it is what it is. But know where you're going and what the goal is. I just saw something about Oprah and she said that with some family members, she had to basically divorce the family members. So if you have to do that, think about doing that. Um, 
Coach counselors and mentors, you're gonna need someone to help you on this journey. Uh, I'll do a separate video on my thoughts around these paid coaches. I would never pay a one-on-one -on -one coach again. Um, separate video. But I do believe in going through the Small Business Development Center. If you're gonna do maybe a coaching group and you're over maybe a million in, in annual revenue, um, consider Vistage. That's something we're actually considering, which is two hours, um, I think one to two hours private, and then eight hours group once a month. And that's about, the top one I think is like 1,400 a month. But that's something that I would consider. In terms of one-on-one, -on -one, I'm not coaching with someone that doesn't have a real business, that they're cash cows teaching me how to be in business. I had one lady email me and said, hey, I wanna help you hire people. And I'm like, well, how many people have you hired and send me three references? Well, she's a solo, she's never hired anyone and she didn't even have three references. So, coach, counselor, mentor. Now, a lot of you would come to me and say, will you be my mentor? No, I'm not there yet. Like, seek out maybe an executive or a VP or someone with a large company. And there is a program um, through um, the government called Mentor Protege. So, we'll talk about certifications, but seek out people that can mentor you that really have the capacity to mentor you. So, I've often sought out, like, you know, older people, when I say more mature, in their businesses. And definitely use Small Business Development Center and SBA, Small Business Administration, through the country because they're free build a team I believe you need to hire at least that one employee because at some point you're gonna have an obligation to work because of them I love my clients I, I really do enjoy what I do we recently had a shoot and it probably was one of our best shoots um, at least this year they were funny they're smart they were serious when they needed to be serious they were on point and they were just a pleasure to work with so I know that when my team is there, that, you know, sometimes I was just off, you know, hands off. So with my company, I don't do internal operations, but I am still external and I'm hiring to replace. But you need to build a team. Yes, you'll love your clients, but at some point, you know, what's your why? Well, my kids, my family, my... It's, it's bigger than that, okay? And when you have people that are counting on you to get up and go to work, and counting on you to make those sales, and counting on you to get that marketing done, and counting on you, you know, you know, people that come into small companies, they take a leap of faith with you because they could go to larger companies when it's secure. So build a team as quickly as possible, even if it's just one part-time person in your office. You know, um, a lot of you all say, I have people in the Philippines. I've done that. I've had 20 people in the Philippines. Do your best to build a team wherever your um, home state is. Get certified. So my company is a certified woman-owned company. We're a certified minority-owned company. We are certified in our city, in our state, in our county. Um, we also have gone after the transportation certifications, which is the DBE, the airport certifications. Everything submitted this year. Some of the certifications for the minority certification and the women-owned were 500 and 350 respectively. Um, you don't have to pay for all of them though. You can get registered in sam.gov and then certify as a woman-owned company for free. I can't sing. <laughs> Okay, so there's really no excuse not to get certified. My women, my men, sorry, you gotta be like veteran or minority to get certified. Um, certification really shifts your business. It's gonna help you understand if you have a business, a viable business. Um, a lot of you just really just aren't operating businesses, which is cool. You know, build that hobby. I watch a lot of Shark Tank, The Profit, American Greed, that's my favorite. And Barbara Corcoran often says, like, she gets upset when people have invested $1 million in their business and they don't even know if it's a viable idea. So I would suggest that, again, go to the free counselors, but getting certified is going to really help you understand if you're in business. You know, your tax returns, your operating agreements, your LLCs, I mean, your P&L, your balance statements. It's like a lot of information. So definitely get certified as quickly as possible or see if certain, at least go through the steps. So you can say, okay, I gotta work on this because I've gotten certified and there's now things that we can go after. We're eligible for a lot of things. Um, these national certifications were developed by the, the corporate companies. They want certified companies to do business with. The next one I have here is build a strategic marketing plan, which is this document. I do the 2019, I do a one page plan. And I actually have my team build a one page plan as well. So my employees, they're my team, they did this. I shared my 2017, my 2018, my 2019 one page plan. So they know what's going on. And basically it's the five things that need to happen to make this the best year yet. Mine was 50% increase in revenue by the end of the year 2019 to travel, maintain my weight, 
uh, personal and professional development and end of the year vacation with my family. It's very similar to what I did last year and I put my top five values and then the mission basically sub goals that I need to accomplish to make sure that my overall goal is accomplished, okay? So for instance, for travel, I just put here international New York cruise in New Orleans. Real simple things maybe to you, but for me, you know, I've, I've been to Cuba this year, Beijing, Bangkok, um, Grand Canyon in Florida, in New Orleans, you know, Essence Festival and things. So I need to travel because part of my thing is I need at least three days minimum off per quarter to maintain well, not my sanity, but to recharge, refresh, and re-energize so that I'm the best version of me for my clients, my team. And then I encourage my team to take time off too, which they did this year. So develop a strategic marketing plan, put it on paper. Mine is actually up on the wall here in my room and I look at it every day. I look at it from my phone every day and I literally track my goals every single day. Health and wellness, where's my water here, okay? My blood pressure was high the other day. You know, I was like, what? And I, I'm not stressed. Um, it's a happy thing. We just got some great things going on. But your health and wellness, I go to the chiropractor, massages. Um, for me, it's kind of therapeutic to do my hair. Actually, I'm gonna do my hair after this video. Oh, my hair, oh, it fell out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Lord, Lord, Lord. So I actually have my earbuds in because I left my mic, my lavalier mic at my office, so whatever. So, um, but your health and wellness, you know, making sure that you're walking, what's your ideal weight goal, taking your vitamins, you know, just stay on top of it because as an entrepreneur, and even if you're an entrepreneur where you're working with someone in their company, you know, these people online say, they're just using you to build their dreams. Y'all, we need, how, <laughs> we are all part of the dream. I tell my team, I'm the chief toilet scrubber, okay? We need people, you can't be a solo all your life, so there have to be leaders and followers, okay? I can't build this company by myself, and they obviously can't be someplace where someone's not leading. So your health and your wellness is important. Drink lots of water, so I show my water here. <laughs> I like fruit in my water, I like filtered water, I'm a water snob, I like to drink um, mineral waters and FOSS and artesian water, so I have water filters, I'm really, really a water snob. So. Health and wellness. And then the last thing I had was build a one page plan. But strategic marketing, let me actually go back to that. Know where your idle clients are. A lot of you don't know. You know, you're even on Instagram showing certain things, but you're not ever asking people to buy. Um, on LinkedIn, there was someone that was like, um, let me know if you need a photographer. But they work at Homeland Security. So I'm thinking, 16 years. Like, I'm friends with you because we do government work. My company is a video production and creative marketing agency. We work with law firms, government agencies, and also Fortune 500 companies. So that's why I'm friends with you. So I just, I just link, you know, kind of said, hey, well, if you need somebody in your agency, blah, 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 you have to know why you're on a certain platform. So do you need to be on LinkedIn? LinkedIn's for leaders. Facebook is for friends and family. Instagram is really for pictures and videos, and really if you have a product base. You need to be doing YouTube videos, but Think about your audience. So this is my fun channel. I do this because it's fun. I, I get a little bit of money every single month that goes into a bank account that I have not seen in years and hopefully there's a lot of money in it. And um, just really the only thing that comes out is my life insurance policy for a month that I've had for almost 20 years, okay? And it's good until I'm 72. So think about your platform. Be strategic. Run $1 a day ads on Facebook and Instagram to stay top of mind. That's what Dennis you, why you? Dennis, why you? Dennis Hughes talks about. On YouTube, you know that you can run ads. We do it for our clients. You can run ads on YouTube and then start remarketing. Someone watches the ad, then they see more ads. Same thing with Facebook. They watch the ad, they see more ads. So you got to be strategic. It's not about throwing marketing and more marketing dollars at something. It's about throwing the right marketing dollars on the right platform to attract the right Right client. Also, think about speaking and sponsorships. The bulk of our dollars this year, 2018, about 50,000 went to speaking and sponsorships. Okay, so those are all key things that you need to be thinking about in your journey. So that's it, guys. I love making these videos when I have time. So I wanted to really share some things that can happen for you to make whatever year you're watching this. I don't care if it's 2025, 20, your best year ever. You follow these 10 things and there's more, you know, we all come up with things, but I just was like, let me write down a couple things. And once I hit three, I said, oh, there's five. And once I hit five, I was like, oh, there's six, seven, eight, nine, 10 to make this your best year ever. So as always, thanks for watching and 
Make sure, like I said, if this resonates with you, leave me a comment below. You guys don't comment with, y'all don't talk to me at all anymore. I mean like, what's up? I know I've been away for a while, but shit, I was in a messed up marriage. I was miserable, <laughs> so I didn't make videos for years. But I'm back, so share. You know, I don't care if you sub, but share the video, leave me a comment, and tell me out of the 10 things, I'll even post them and pin them on the comment below. Out of the 10 things, let me know what you're gonna be working on this year. If it's all 10, put it down because you know I'm gonna come back and hold you accountable. And as always, thanks for watching y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.